Hello my dear friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today we are doing a haunch of venison. Now what I want to show you today is how we break this down into its muscle groups. When I say muscle groups this haunch is made up of three muscles, a top side, a thick flank or top rump and then underneath a silver side. Now from a butcher's point of view these are three different cuts of meat which cook at different times, have different textures. Uh, there's nothing wrong with roasting a haunch whole, it's a traditional way, but if there's not many of you in the family, you know a big haunch is a waste, so I will show you how to get three, including the rum, four beautiful manageable joints and we'll trim them all out and the end product will look fantastic. So the first thing we need to do then, is I just want to trim off that bit of flank and basically if you go by the adage do I like the look of it would I eat it keep it on if you wouldn't eat it take it off the next I want to remove the H bone the hip bone an odd shaped bone just with the tip of your knife always with the tip of your knife you can see at any time I'm only using that much and exposing the bone and I'm just going to gently take my knife round it there is the ball joint I don't know if you can see it in there just expose that and then it's a case of the knife up against the bone Always got a damp cloth if there's any stray hairs. There's bound to be a couple. We can clean it up after. And then just work that bone away from the flesh. It goes in there. And that is the hip bone gone. Next, we want to take off the shank. If you look, you can see where the bone pretty much ends. You get a little bit of play, you put your knife in there, that is that cut. Now, several ways you can do this. In a butcher's shop, you might go on an angle like that, so you leave more meat on the actual muscles, or you can go straight across. It depends what you want to do, how much meat you want to leave on. I'm just going to go pretty much straight across, and that gives us one lovely shank of venison, you can be a bit posh if you want and just just gently trim it down. So onto this then, like I said, three muscles in the main haunch. First thing I wanna do is cut this, what we call a chump or a rump. I think you guys in the US will call this a sirloin tip. You will get two or three nice steaks out of that. And then we are left with the main haunch. Now, if you can see, now this goes for every single size deer. Now, the reason I say you could do this with every species of deer is because people keep saying, well, you know, Scott, those deers you cut up over there in the UK are really small compared to our white tails here in the US, which is true. Uh, but what you've got to remember, this is a blueprint. All animals are the same. So once you've mastered this on a deer of any size, it would be the same for a lamb, a goat, even a pig, and obviously a cow. And a lot of people say, well, those deers are so small. Well, those are muntjac deer we have here in the UK, and they are fully grown. People say, oh man, it looks like a dog or a hare. But you know, to my mind, they are one of the tastiest. But this haunch here is off a row. We also have fallow, and obviously the big reds, the stags, up in Scotland which I think are more akin to what you guys get over in the US in Canada anyway I digress let's get on and do this so you can see there is a seam it's like someone's drawn a line now if you just go with your knife you can see there what you need to do is to go down it and don't matter if you're cutting into meat until you reach the femur that's in there then you just gently go round 
and you'll start exposing, as you can see in there, a natural seam. If I can show you, you can almost pull. If any of you folks out there suffer from sciatica, that is the sciatic nerve in a deer there. Anyway, we're just gonna carry on down. Pretty much, you can pull it apart. And like I said, any size deer you can do. And there you have your beautiful little top side or top round. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that silver off. I wanna trim these up really nice. I mean, as you can see, there is not, if any, a lot of fat on there. And that is a beautiful joint on its own. So next, we need to take off what we call thick flank or top rump. So what I'm going to do is we're following that femur. Again, either side until we could pretty much get our hands under it like that. And again, just with the tip of the knife, just gently take away the flesh from the bone. That goes to my dog. <laughs> and then it's a case of, again, a natural seam. As you can see, that silver skin in there is starting to expose through and then that leaves us with our silver side and our top rump or thick flank. So what I want to do is just gently seam off this beautiful salmon cut we call which as you can see is a beautiful beautiful piece of meat. Just have a look at that. So we'll trim that up in a bit then we're left with our silver side. Just take out what was the knuckle. And then just with the tip of our knife, under that sciatic nerve, you get rid of that. And then cord silver side, obviously, because there's silver on the side. So just on that silver skin then, I like to just put my knife just again, the tip underneath. And what we're doing, like I said at the start, we're making more manageable, usable joints from that one leg. And you'll be amazed at the end when you see what we can turn this into. And these joints are ideal for two people, you know, for sharing. And obviously you're gonna get a lot more meals out of your horse than if you were to say roast it whole for a few of you. Yes, it's nice cold in sandwiches, but these give you ideal portions. So what I like to do, because that's what we do, is I just like to trim them up, square them off. That's what us butchers do, make them look neat. And obviously this can go into stir fries or stews. Look at that, beautiful. So I just want to work, I'll put my trim over there for the moment, on this thick flank. There is the patella bone or the kneecap. I'm going to go straight down on that. Then I'm going to take off the rest of this thin flank. And this exposes a beautiful looking joint. So we go down, take any excess funk off. Those of you who watch a lot of me know funk is an official term. If it wasn't, it is now, and I'm just gonna gently, can you just see me parting that? And I'm just gonna get my knife under there, because you know this silver is inedible. We don't want it on there. I mean, don't be too fussy. I mean, if it's the first time doing it, you don't want to end up chopping away all the good, and then just turn it over. Again, any bits, square it off, and that gives you that beautiful there, top rump, top side, silver side, and your salmon cut. A little bit of trim there. And then, I'll just put that there for the moment. We started off with that rump. 
again take it off any stray bits and slice through an absolute cracking piece of meat that and then we've got our shank and then I'm just going to quickly nip through the trim so all it remains for me to do then is just again one more quick look over a glance over a tidy up a trim up a straighten up and then what I do with these joints is you want these food grade I suppose you can call them poultry bands and then basically at regular intervals just put two or three you can put any herbs you like under there you know maybe a sprig of rosemary or some bay leaves just to add a bit of color but there's the silver here is the thick flank or the top rump very confusing wherever you work in the UK people call it different things then add on to it the Australian and the US terms and we all get a little confused but just a little bit of time straighten it up and then again with the top side I mean these would make fantastic steaks but like I said I wanted to make manageable roasting joints getting more I think yield out of your venison haunch put one on there I think I'm gonna put one on there I might over egg the pudding there always fettling you know bring that up bring that up. once you start that's it look and I will put that one there okay let's have a look what we got then we got our silver side beautiful our top side straighten that up our top rump which looks stunning our salmon cut and then there's our venison shank which I've just quickly French trimmed that was the stew we gleaned off all of the different cuts the trimming up the squaring off which all go into stew but the actual trim which will go into mince or sausage is a handful and then we will just put our two steaks at the front there and all we got waste off that haunch was that and we managed to glean all that meat off just one roebuck haunch so you think of the meals we get out of that now you know we got four uh, three beautiful joints we got a shank the two steaks I think that just begs to be done quickly don't it maybe I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking on the hoof here I would just butterfly it out bash it out bit of salt and pepper in the pan Robert your mother's brother and that's it one venison haunch broken down well I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Ree project join me next time I will show you how we will take a whole haunch of venison and we are just going to bone it out and prepare it for a whole carvery leg so until next time then please 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 click subscribe you know the button down here the channel is growing at a phenomenal rate so join me for the ride obviously I release videos every week and you know you don't want to miss them also catch me on my social media Facebook Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project and on my Twitter at the Scott Ree Project so there you have it I think that looks pretty cool almost professional see you again folks take care